Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. As you may or may not know, a couple of days back, we got our first major update, major meta update. And in it, they went ahead and attacked a lot of the main broken meta weapons and nerfed a lot of different options there. And so today I wanted to go through and readjust the overall meta breakdown that we've got that continuously evolves all throughout the year and see which weapons now fall into the absolute meta, the more competitive, the more average categories. So as we get into it, if you enjoy the video or if you find it helpful, do me a favor and drop a like. It does always seriously help grow the channel and if you're new here or you simply have not subscribed yet let's change that because every single day i got you covered with news updates patch notes meta breakdowns like this so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications so based on our preliminary rankings of the warzone meta and going through these stats and how weapons behave this is how things currently shake out pre-update but of course this update does go through and change a lot so i've got my notes over here with the various descriptions of what the patch notes included and now we can adjust things as needed so right away the dg56 got a close range nerf that basically limits its ability to two shot burst or two uh, burst kill rather uh, is the better way to put it and with that this is still going to be a great long range option but its versatility is what made it an absolute meta choice you could use this at 10 meters and two burst you could use this at 50 meters or 80 meters and still be super effective now it's just meant for the mid to long range so still a great choice but tough to deem it absolute absolute meta to me it's just one of those top tier fantastic rifles choices now and similar to that the fr 556 got basically the same nerf its close range is now worse than before still super accurate and really effective over the long range but lacking some versatility there going to be more of a top tier choice as well now the bass b arguably the best gun in the game did see nerfs to both its close range and its long range effectiveness the damage was nerfed there in general but it wasn't nearly as significant as the dgs or the fr's or some of the other options on the list here uh it's just slightly worse than before Four. it's still going to be a great battle rifle and arguably the most consistent mid to long range gun in the game with some decent close range capabilities as well so for that reason it's not broken broken anymore but it's probably considered absolute meta in the eyes of most players a little bit more recoil than some of the choices but not something you can't counter with certain attachments still gonna be really great it's just not going to insta kill you now we actually saw a lot of adjustments to some pistols here the core 45 akimbo honestly probably could have been considered more competitive or top tier but they severely nerfed the akimbo close range damage so definitely makes the core more mediocre now and they did the same thing to the renetti as well i mean the renetti now with the conversion kit maybe you could deem that a bit more competitive but still then its mobility is lacking compared to some smgs and it's gonna you know definitely fall victim to getting outgunned by a lot of those whether they're top tier or competitive so the akimbo options between the core and the renetti hard nerfs their close range is not going to be nearly as broken as it was before so those are pretty significant changes now the dm56 honestly to some players probably could have been considered borderline absolute meta it was really really good before this update however they did go through and nerf the close and the long range damage so whether you're using it as like an aggressive secondary or one of the better uh you know mid to long range options it's going to be slightly worse now that said it still has a serious upside if you're incredibly accurate so i think for now this one still sits borderline top tier it's definitely closer to being competitive now than it is absolute meta though post update so that's one we got to keep an eye on for sure now the kvd enforcer probably was one of the lacking marksman rifles before this update still really good but in comparison to the rest of the category maybe a little bit lacking its headshot multiplier did see a nerf it's definitely more you know borderline mediocre competitive right now than it was before so that's going to be slightly worse there you're not going to have the ability to get those crazy headshot multiplier kills where it just feels like you absolutely insta delete somebody and then this is an important one the mtz interceptor obviously the most broken gun in the game before the update all they did was nerf the headshot multiplier but what it did is essentially require you to now hit at least one more headshot and or more body shots upper body shots if you want anywhere between like a three and a five shot kill if you're trying to get the fastest ttk with this thing now you need at least one more headshot which is pretty drastic three headshots in one gunfight is pretty rare even for the best of the best players let alone with a semi-auto gun like the interceptor so it does balance it out some and really just creates a higher skill gap with this where really really good players laser accurate players are still going to be able to get very 
very fast kills with this but most players are going to struggle a little bit more and for me that is something that brings this down more into the top tier category than being absolute meta just because for long range now there are other options that are going to stand out a little bit more like for instance the bass b the bruin or the peel yacht which were not updated or adjusted there hey everyone it is of course the holiday season and if you're looking for the perfect gift this year look no further than gamer advantage this is the gift that keeps on giving not to be confused with the jelly of the month club although that's pretty solid as well gamer advantage is where it's at of course you guys see me wearing the frames in every single face cam video they are without a doubt the most important part of my day-to-day -day setup because i'm obviously looking at screens all day long and if you are as well whether it be gaming working doing school whatever the case is these are game changers. They're going to help you sleep better at night, reduce headaches and eye strain. And all month long, everything on the GA site is discounted by 25% and code immortal stacks on top of that for a 35% off discount for all of December. So quite literally the perfect time to pick up a pair, whether it be for yourself or some friends or some family for the holidays. If you're interested, the link will be down in the description below. Also, uh, it was separated from the other ones, but the tier got an akimbo nerf as well, but you're still only going to be using that akimbo. So niche, just like the basilisk, nothing really changes with that. This is another pretty drastic one. The Haymaker, the best shotgun in the game by far. Two, three shot kill up close. Got a rough rough nerf it's close range got kind of murdered here so definitely dropping down more into the competitive category with the lockwood probably borderline here at this point uh but you can spam it so that skill gap's a little bit less there similar to the broadside in terms of overall effectiveness now i would say and then also the fennec ended up getting a close range nerf a headshot uh, multiplier nerf and a lower torso multiplier nerf still gonna be good for an smg but definitely a bit more limited it really stood out before this update maybe is like the best smg now though it's much more bunched in there with some of the other choices Choices, like the mp5 the iso even like the strikers and whatnot there so just balancing that out some now those were all the changes that took place in the patch notes there are a few other things i do want to adjust here initially as we've learned more about the stats now the holger 556 rifle while it is super low recoil and maybe the easiest gun to use in the game is a little bit lacking in its first damage range it's good over range but first damage range not nearly as competitive so this to me probably belongs to be more of a top tier rifle than absolute absolute meta right i think these four options here ran M7 for the sniper support category, Peel them out and Bruin for long range, Bass B for versatility all clearly stand out a little bit more. The cat now, especially because of the nerfs to the interceptor, the Bass B, those insta delete weapons from before, shines even more as the true one shot sniper for Warzone. And I think we're going to see the pick rate of this uptick a lot now that the interceptor has been nerfed, the enforcer and whatnot's been nerfed. So definitely uh, keep an eye on this as being a really good go to option. Also, my distaste for the AMR9 might have led me to be a little bit too harsh on this thing because again statistically speaking while its first damage range is pretty mediocre as more of like a sniper support style smg the amr9 is a little bit more competitive than you know what i might have initially led on to like i said not a fan of the gun feels like trash but statistically objectively it does hold its own to a certain extent there also the mtz 762 definitely belongs to be bumped up into the top tier category especially if we see a harder nerf to the interceptor this is one that while it's super limited in ammo could be really really good so that's another one i've got my eye on as well but really this meta update balanced things out a lot more we have less than our absolute meta and there's no more insta kill meta with like the bass bsmg and the interceptor on one loadout that's just not going to be as viable anymore so definitely a solid step in the right direction i think there's more to be done here maybe buffing the efficiency of some of the mw2 guns and uh and whatnot which we know they're going to do over time but healthier meta than it was a week ago that's for sure that being said that is going to wrap things up if you enjoyed the video or if you found it helpful do me a favor and drop a like on it it would be really appreciated and if you're new here or you simply haven't subscribed yet feel free to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out